What's up YouTube? It's 2023, but somehow we went back to the future and grabbed the 2024 Jeep Sahara Wrangler 4xE edition. Come on now, you thought I was finished. We got in this beautiful sage green and guys, the first thing everyone's been talking about, Jeep Wrangler, one of the most iconic names in the car industry. They made some changes, some changes guys. Come take a look at the front end grill. This has been a debate online for the past few months. Finally, get to see it in person. What are your guys' thoughts outlined in this nice silver? But it's a little condensed, it's narrower, but it makes those rounded LED lights that are updated as well just pop with that green color. Definitely comment down below your new thoughts on this updated front grille. Guys, I like it. I'm liking Jeeps taking those little, little side steps, little changes out there, but that's okay. You gotta do it to stay up in the game. Four by E, right? Four by E, mention that, right? Blue tow hooks. Jeep does that. They like to do, keep things blue, keep things energetic. Come down here, these beautiful, fresh off-roading tires for you guys. And look, Jeep has even done changes to their little Easter eggs and they made it blue for you guys because it's a four by E. Come on, Jeep. They don't miss a step on this thing. Take a look at some of the badges. And the first thing you notice, they moved the charging port to the driver's side. Take a look, you just pop that open. And it's actually cool, you get a little QR code right there. Blue means it's charging. Halfway green means it's uh, halfway. Fully charged green and red. Man, you need to charge this thing ASAP, no rocky. Take a look, we got the trail rated badges also, the Sahara badge and the Jeep Wrangler badge all outlined in blue. Look how many badges we got in here. You need another chapter, another page in that book to keep going. Take a look on this side. Guys, you're gonna notice another huge difference for you Jeep Wrangler lovers. Obviously, you know you got that Easter egg up there, can't miss that out. But what? What's missing here, guys? Three, two, antenna. Yes, there is no antenna, but look, it's integrated into the front windshield. Look how cool that is. No worries about driving through a parking garage and hitting your antenna. You got kids, you got crows. I don't know, whatever messed that up, I don't know. Come to the side, you got the power heated mirrors as always, and this is a four door. Once you uh, come to the side here, cameraman, we'll take a look at this four door from a nice angle. Wrangler, right? As always, take these doors off. It doesn't matter what year, what model, always enjoy a beautiful summer. Take one last look at these off-roading capability wheels right back. And finally, we'll take a look Get that dealer plate off there at the trunk space. You know Wrangler's not gonna shy away from having that spare tire in the back. You get the 4xE logo down there and another beautiful blue tow hook. Let's open this baby up back here and see what we got going on in this 2024 model. So obviously you got your charging ports all wrapped up under there and underneath you get a convenient nice little ice bucket where you can also store your charging ports in there. Other than that, on the exterior guys, I believe I pointed out all the differences, but super excited about what Jeep's doing and I'll catch you guys on the inside. Guys, this Jeep, the 2024 model just keeps getting better. I'm loving what they do. Before we get to the goods though, come back. You know it's a Sahara, so we got the Sahara leather seats and this beautiful goldy brown stitching, not perforated, which um, you know some people like, but it is high quality leather overall and in this model the sahara they went with leather but other 2024 models they went with kind of a cloth like texture so comment down below what you like i know the 2022 and 23 models they did a kind of metallic -y red i believe that was for the rubicon but they also did a metallic -y finish but can't go wrong with the high quality leather and this is the breadwinner guys everyone has been asking for so long jeep please update your screen it's not 2005 anymore. I don't have an iPod Nano. I don't have a, a a Walkman to plug into my screen. Jeep's like, all right, man, 2024 is the year. We put a finally 12.3 inch high quality. Look at the response time. Oh my gosh, I feel like, like I'm, I'm in a Tesla. They went horizontal with it, which I do like. It flows well with the dash overall. And you know, you got Apple CarPlay, check throughs. Oh, okay, who is that? Who are these people? <laughs> Clive, shout out Clive, baby. Anyways, guys, great response time, beautiful map. Let's check out some options. Let's check out the camera on this thing. Oh my gosh, Jeep keeps going. You can clean, what is this? Let's click this. 
Oh my God, you guys see that? It cleans it for you. That is awesome. Front and back cameras, which are integrated smoothly. Uh, check out the dashboard, the settings, off-road pages as always, and you got your hybrid options as well. Power flow, wow, that is really cool. E-save, check out all that. Your comfort, once again, control your climate zone. Or if you guys don't like technology flipping through stuff on the highway, you got your dual climate zone. They went a bit narrower, obviously, because of the screen. But down below, you're like, okay, this is a Wrangler now. Everything down here, very similar. You got your 12 volt right here. Power window controls, either side. There we go, automatic, beautiful. And you got a little media outlet here for USB, USB-C, and auxiliary. Uh, gear shifter, we got a nice little uh, Easter egg as Jeep likes to do. You got your manual off-roading options as well. E-brake, cup holders, same as the last year's. And you got some good amount of space up there for your keys, change, whatever you guys gotta do. Steering wheel, Jeep stayed similar. You know, guys, I love the Jeep steering wheels. Beautiful brown stitching, which is on the seats. And you can control your driving options just from there. If you guys see, it is fully, it's not fully digital, but it's like integrated. As you can see, the dials on each side do kind of look like they're computerized, the font and everything, but those are real. They're not a screen, but you can tell the fuel everything your battery your charging speedometer all that in the middle is digital and it's upgraded it's a little bit cleaner uh, a little bit faster than the 2023 model i like the color i like the layout obviously in that green which goes so well with the exterior guys we don't have this car for much longer the customer is literally waiting he's like hurry up guys my car right now it's my car right but it doesn't matter we have to get a video out for you guys because you know i love making content for everyone we're gonna get more of these 2024 models out for you guys and we can do a full review. But guys, I had to get my hands on this and show you guys what you're missing out on. The 2024 Wrangler. Comment down below if I missed anything. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on these videos and we'll get more 2024 content for you guys.